Hello friends, this is Manasvi and me and my group is performing Math Subject Enrichment Activity on Heron's Formula and I am introducing you about the Heron's Formula and next Anushka will tell you about that how we can use Heron's Formula in triangles and then Kushi will tell you about that is Heron's Formula would be applicable for quadrilaterals or not and Nishil will give you the conclusion. So let's get started. Heron's Formula we have studied in the earlier classes about the area of the triangles. We know that area of a triangle is equals to half into base into height. This formula can be used only when we have the values of base and height given. But if length of three sides and one diagonal's length is given of a triangle, then we need another formula to find the area of the triangle. Therefore, hero of Alexandria created the formula known as Heron's formula which is a is equals to under the root s into s minus a into s minus p into s minus c where s is equals to semi perimeter that is a plus p plus c upon 2 and abc are the sides of the triangle. In this chapter we will study Use of Heron's formula in triangles, use of Heron's formula in quadrilaterals, and the conclusion. I am Anushka Tigga and here I am to explain how you can use Heron formula in triangles. The formula given by Heron about the area of a triangle is also known as Heron's formula. So here we will find the Heron formula in triangle. So the formula in Heron, so the formula of triangle in Heron formula is root s bracket semi perimeter bracket semi perimeter minus a bracket semi perimeter minus b bracket semi perimeter minus c where a b and c are the sides of the triangle so now we will see an example using heron formula find the area of an equilateral triangle whose side is 12 cm so the question is saying we have to find an equilateral triangle whose side is 12 cm using heron's formula so first of all we have to find the semi perimeter so to find the semi perimeter we will use the formula a plus b plus c upon 2 equals to 12 plus 12 plus 12 upon 2 so 36 upon 2 equals to 18 so the semi perimeter so the semi perimeter so the semi perimeter is 18 equals to so now we will find the area of an equilateral triangle using the formula root semi perimeter bracket semi perimeter minus a bracket semi perimeter minus b bracket semi perimeter minus c root 18 bracket 18 minus 12 bracket 18 minus 12 bracket 18 minus 12 root 18 multiply 6 into 6 into 6 6 root 9 into 2 into 3 into 2 equals to 6 into 3 into 2 root 3 so the answer is 36 root 3 centimeter square so the area of an equilateral triangle whose side is 12 centimeter equals to 36 root 3 centimeter square hello everyone i am khushi ahirwar and i am here to prove is heron's formula applicable on a quadrilateral or not Let's see an example question to find how it is applicable on a quadrilateral. Suppose there is a rhombus field and two crops has to be grown on it. And for that purpose it is divided into two equal triangles. We are having all the values and it is asked to find the areas of entire rhombus field and area of field each crops will get. Perimeter is 400 meter. And because it is a rhombus field, each side will be 100 meter and the diagonal is 160 meter long. For finding the area, we must find the S, semi perimeter, which is sum of all sides divided by 2. So we will get 100 plus 100 plus 160 divided by 2 is equal to 180 meter. Now, area of triangle using Heron's formula is equal to root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c we will put all the values in the formula 
Now it is one root one eighty into one eighty minus hundred into one eighty minus hundred into one eighty minus one sixty. Now it is root one eighty into eighty into eighty into twenty. On simplifying all the values, we will get root three into three into two into ten into eight into ten into eight into ten into two into ten. Now we will get three into two into ten into ten into eight, which is is equal to four thousand eight hundred meter square. So we. So area of field each crop will get is four thousand eight hundred meter square, and total area of the rhombus field is equal to four thousand eight hundred into two, which is equal to nine thousand six hundred meter square. In this explanation, we saw that we can find the area of a quadrilateral using Heron's formula by dividing it into triangular parts. Hello, I'm Nishal Kichi, and I'm here to conclude the chapter Theron's formula. Conclusion. In this chapter, we learn that to calculate the area of a triangle, if you know the lengths of all three sides using a formula that has been known for nearly two thousand years, it is called Theron's formula. After Hero of Alexandria and the beautiful history of Theron. We can also use Heron's formula in triangles and quadrilaterals.